During the time that David lived um, among the Philistines, more and more men came to him. They came from all the tribes of Israel. He lived at Ziklag at the time, and when King Saul died, David prayed to the Lord, Do you want me to go back to one of the villages of, of Israel? The Lord said, Go to Hebron. So David went to Hebron, and all of his men brought their families and moved into all the villages around Hebron. At that time, the tribe of Judah came to David and made him king of their tribe. Well, the rest of the tribes of Israel followed the leadership of Abner, who had been the commander of Saul's army. He took one of Saul's sons, Ithbosheth, and made him king of Israel. This started a war between the two sides. It started in a, in a unique way. Abner marched his, his men against the army of, of David, which was being led by Joab. They met at a pool in Gibeon. Abner called across. Let's each of us send out 24 men. Send out 12 men. And let those 24 fight it out. Joab agreed. He sent out his 12 men. Now it happened that both sides sent out warriors that were of equal skill. <laughs> they all used a particular technique of grabbing their opponent by the beard and thrusting him through with a sword. And they all did that at the very same time. And all 24 men fell dead. This caused the battle to start. And it was fierce. They fought, they fought through the day. And finally, at one point, Joab got the advantage. When Abner saw this, he, he and his men turned and ran, and Joab's army chased after them. Now, Joab had several brothers. One of them was a fast runner. It happened that he saw Abner running and decided to chase after him. Now, Abner wasn't as fast as the young man, but he was an experienced warrior. He yelled back to the young man when he saw him. He said, go chase after one of the other men of, of equal skill and then fight it out and see what happens. Oh, but the young man didn't listen. He kept gaining on Abner. Abner once again yelled back, don't make me do this. Don't make me do this. If I kill you, how can I, how can I face Joab again? Again, the young man didn't listen. Finally, he was right behind the great warrior. Abner stopped and thrust a spear through his stomach. And the young man fell dead. Abner's troops continued to run. Joab chasing them. Finally, at sunset, some men came to reinforce Abner's army. Once again, the two armies faced off. Abner yelled to Joab, Let's stop the battle here. Send your men home. Tell them to stop chasing their brothers. Things will only get more bitter if we continue on. Joab yelled back, you have spoken wisdom. If you hadn't have said something, all of us would have fought throughout the entire night. With that, Joab raised, raised the ram's horn and blew it. His men stopped. Both, army, both armies turned and marched home. Joab then took his brother took him back to Bethlehem and buried him in the family tomb. David continued to reign over Judah 
Ishbosheth continued to reign over Israel. But David's kingdom grew stronger and stronger. And Ishbosheth grew weaker 